Guys, this video is all about the trailer that you can get for the COE Red Cat hauler. That's what this thing is all about. This right here, let's get to the table because there's a lot to show you. This trailer is a dream come true for RC guys. The front of it opens up just like a normal toolbox. You're good to go there. Adjustable hitch height right here. The frame is all the way under it. This stuff has like skateboard grip tape on all the way through. Your ramps go right here. You have an actual leaf spring suspension right here. Leaf spring suspension. The uh, axle stuff is legit bearings. I mean, there are so this thing is so cool. The wheels, tires, everything, super scale. Full frame, full metal frame all the way through it. This thing is nice. Plus it's got all your lights and all that, which I had the kit coming. So man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. One of the first things you got to do is put on these little nut caps right here. These go in the wheel. They complete the package. Everything is chrome. I love it. This thing is a scaler's dream. Okay, this thing has got all kinds of features. I'm going to show them to you. We're going to start out with the top. That is like full skater's grip tape right there. That is awesome. The toolbox totally opens and closes. You can put stuff in it and everything. Look at that. The trailer stand is adjustable. It's in the fourth hole. Just simply put this into here just like this. Get it aligned up on there just like that, right? Drop this pin down in here. There is a body clip to hold that in place. But there you go. Now the vehicle or the trailer is ready to go. When you got it hooked up to your truck, pull the pin out, turn this over like this, drop the pin back in, put the little body clip on it right down here at the bottom so you don't lose that, and then you're ready to pull. This is the hitch that connects to the truck. It goes right into here. This is adjustable. You can go up or down with it as needed. The picture's showing at the bottom spot, so that's where I'm going to start with it. But that's it. Put some bolts in here and you're done. If by chance you need more adjustability, there's this nice metal piece right here that you can put in the frame and get a lot higher or a lot lower. So having this is nice for whatever you decide to use this on. You have a fake winch right here that you can put down right there, put it right into place, or you can just leave it off, flip that up, and now you have access to another battery compartment. because this thing has lights. Also with that extra battery location, you can parallel up your batteries if you're gonna be driving this thing for a long distance. Say you gotta run to the gas station and fill it up before a long haul, well, you can double up your battery so you can get there. Why you would wanna gas up an electric RC, I have no idea, but the options are there. It comes with the same wheel chocks that you get with the truck, so you can set those up, push those in all the way around, or store them up here. Okay, now the ramps are supposed to go in the other way, but what I found is set them up like this right here. Put them in like this and then just collapse them. This way you have a nice little tab you can grab onto. Simple and easy. And this is in a downward slope, so it's not going to mess with anything. Pop these in here. Extend that out. Good to go. Same thing over here. Extend that out. And you're good to go. Let's give it a drive. Now, it's going to pull the trailer back because I've got the 20% underdrive into the back of this thing. And there we are. And once you're fully loaded, flip this thing right on up. At least this is the way I like it. Done. I want you guys to watch something here. That suspension actually does have some pivot to it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And that's what it's supposed to do. Like you put the weight down on it. This is, this is working. This is perfect. This right here goes into your COE right here. 
So this right here pushes in, and then you'll lock that in with a bolt, and there you are. And, huh. You know, one day I'm gonna actually read the instructions. <laughs> well, it's time to put this on. Okay, are you ready for this? This thing is five foot nine inches long. Five foot nine, almost six foot long. And yes, you can fit a six by six on the back. Look at that. Holy moly, this thing is epic. This thing is truly epic. Wow. Guys, this is a builder's dream. This trailer has is it's immaculate. All right, it's immaculate. The front of it comes up. It's got the holder, the little stand on the side. Everything's movable, adjustable. The rear suspension works beautifully. I did get a chance to drive this a little bit through my home. It's currently raining outside, so I, I'm not taking it outside in the rain. You can watch the rear axles move and do their thing. It's not a lot. It's about right for a scale trailer or something like this, but it does it, okay? Now... Speaking of the actual hauler itself, the, I had a 2S in it just for testing around. It's a little bit faster than walking speed, maybe. Maybe 3S is a little bit faster than walking speed, but 2S is about right. And it actually had plenty of power to pull across the carpet, across all the stuff like that. So, real happy with that. However, I do feel that if you were to brush this, I think we actually now have a candidate that actually could use a Hobbywing Fusion 1200 KV. Nothing I have can use that slow of a motor, but I think this one can. Just a thought. Just a thought there. But um, trailer is wonderful, man. Uh, it's, this thing's awesome. Now, I wish I had read the instructions on the, uh, the part where it connects, because I had to go all the way to the bottom holes on that. And if I'd read the instructions, we didn't have that right. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, it was awesome to see a 6x6 six six on here as well, fit perfectly all the way to the end. This thing is awesome i'm psyched up and i will have this at hall and crawl 2023 yeah guys hopefully you like the video check that description uh red cat racing affiliate all those links use them they help out the channel and i want you guys to just have a great day because i got a lot more to do with these guys have a great one guys you made it to the end this is awesome thank you so much you guys make it to the end of the video it means so much to me I mean, for real, consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.